Morning and welcome to um, a little review with myself, David Hainsworth and Mark. And there they are, just over there, getting ready for me. So obviously we're in this little bit at the beginning where there's nobody watching, so I thought I would just show you what we've been up to, since there's nobody watching. So this morning we've been sorting out the auto pots, and you can see that basically, I mean, this is not the best auto pot set up in the world. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure there's other people who've done it miles better than me, but this is this is my auto pot setting up. Uh, me and David have been doing this this morning, so I thought just while we're waiting for people to come in, we'll just have a little look at what an auto pot system actually is. So first of all, auto pot is a gravity fed um, system that automatically waters your plants, and it starts with a tank here, and you can see <coughs> after a few years use it's a bit dirty, but it works none the same. So we've got the tank and we've got that above a couple of bricks. And then you can see that goes via the pipe and you get to a cross section that goes off to one valve to another valve. And generally, yeah, you can put as many sort of pots on a main line as you want, but probably the maximum that I would put on here is four. And you can see that this is what it comes to. This is a valve. Um, so the water comes in there and you can see it's sort of like it's a flip-flop valve So if we just stick this one in So just put that in there Push that down until it clicks and you can see there it's got this So let's turn it on now. This is where you discover where your pipes are actually clean or not david's been frantically cleaning all the pipes and valves and everything so hopefully giving it a little bit of time this should start filling up and what happened yep there we go you can see it's starting to creep in the water there and what will happen is this um tray will fill until this spring valve here gets to a certain height once the water once the water gets to a certain height it'll lift up to about there and that's what cuts off the water supply, so the water will stop them. Um, once we're in sort of full season and uh, the plant's drinking the water, this trough will be full of water um, and the plant will suck up the water. And when these go down to a certain level, then it will start the flow of water back in there and it will take everything from the tank. So generally from the tank, I just put, I mean, you're supposed to put nutrients in and all that sort of stuff and balance the pH. I just put water in here and you know just put some um, fertilizer also nettle tea comfrey tea whatever i mean it does block the the pipes but you know you can just take them to bits and clean them as you go but generally for sort of like keeping your plants nicely watered without you having to be here the whole time it works a treat so this this polytunnel is a six by three it's 18 meters squared and you can see we've got 14 auto pots one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're going to go 26 plants in here, which is far too many. But yeah, I want to try and get as many as I can in this season. So good, that's it. So I think we've filled up enough time. Let's let's get on with doing the reviews. Right, chaps. So what have we got? Someone? There's, there's Mark Thomas with us Hi. and David Hainsworth. Mark, you're right. Yeah. Good, Dave. You're right. Hi guys, how are you doing? Good. What um, we okay, what we got? We got two sauce uh, two sauce producers here. We've got James Hasco from Has Haskell Sauce. They're based in Bristol. Uh, I'll run through sauces in a minute. And we've got Liam Kerr. Uh, Morning, Lee. Originally based up in Edinburgh. Morning, James. And uh, we've got a couple of sauces of his as well. So both. Morning, Kaylee. New sauce producers, but I'm really looking forward to some of these. Uh, I think I'm just going to run through what we've got. So. Have we had any of these before? I've we've had the peach, the charred peach from Liam Kerr before. Is that the one that we had last week that yeah. exploded? No, the other one did. The one that didn't explode. The Good. Pineapple. Okay, so we do that. Sending me that, so we'll test them. And we've got a delicious cherry bourbon and vanilla barbecue, which quite nice frankly one. sounds delicious. Nice. Uh, so I think we'll start with uh, Hask Hell. Sauce. We're going. To, we're going to hell. We are, well, yeah, like I said, we've got no idea how hot these are. Uh, let me just start with the ingredients. Uh, so this one is Pilly Pilly. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, James sent me the ingredients list because the uh, label slipped off. So we've got olive oil, onion, lemon juice, garlic, habanero chilies, chili de abol, chipotle chilies, ginger, onion, sea salt, and basil. And chili de abol is known as a Mexican chili, isn't it? I think it's actually Spanish. It's, it's known as a Spanish tree chili, or okay. it looks a bit like a bird's eye chili, but actually it's called the bird's beak chili. Oh, really? There you go. Okay. Who, I, I googled that. I didn't just know that. You know, <laughs> no, 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 I, I was all impressed. But I was quite impressed. The bird's beak chili there. But it looks like a bird's eye chili. <laughs> all right. So, okay. so, so we're expecting a bit of piri piri. I think so. Yes, that's a, that's okay. what I'm expecting. I mean, the colour's nice. It's got quite a bit of looks like onion and garlic in there. So we're being careful with this one because it got a bit yeah. damaged in the post, didn't it? Not that it's going to put us off. Mm. That smells quite kind of oniony. Oh yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So I mean, peri peri, you'd expect what? Chilies, lemon juice, yeah, that sort of thing. Onion, garlic. Definitely get the lemon juice on that. Yeah. Are you? Do you want this? Yeah, I'll go wood spoon. Okay, I'm gonna go wood foot wood spatula. Special even. spoon from again. To amigo, James Haskell says pili pili is supposed to be North African rather than South African, so it's not it's not exactly the same. It's a bit of a different twist on it. Yeah. Okay. So have a look at the colour on that. That's that's looking rich. It's got nice keep, keep still. Keep still. Come on. Quite glossy. Yeah. It looks nice. So. There's my stick. Bit, yeah. It looks good. Yeah, it smells Full a bit speed. kind of mustardy. Hey Angus. How you doing? Hey James. You alright? Hi in? Katie. Right. We've gone in. Yeah. Three, yeah. two, one. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's hotter than I was expecting. Quite sweet. Ooh. Instant heat. Right That's hot, isn't it? Bloody hell. Sorry. <laughs> oh, with chicken on a barbie. <laughs> you got hiccups right. already. Hiccups already. We got one. We got a victim. Hiccup. Oh. First off. <coughs> Woo! Oof, that is hot. That's, that's got some nice heat. I don't think I could take too much of it, but a slight marinade on chicken. <laughs> That's fine. bird's eye heat, isn't it? That's the bird's stingy beak. bird's beak. Bird's beak. Is that light bird's eye? Yeah, it looks very similar. Long red, uh, short red chili. Yeah, yeah, but it's not the sort of habanero or ghost building chili. That's the sort of instant. Do you know what I mean? That was straight there. Yeah. yeah that just, was you straight. just got a bit of lemony taste. Yeah. And then it's quite a nice texture sauce, so it's got a bit of uh, your little lumps of garlic and onion in it, which I quite like. Yeah. Uh, I, t I describe that as stinging heat. The colour's beautiful. Do you know what I mean? Stinging, straight yeah. straight yeah. off the bat. I mean, that that's nice. a nice sauce. I mean, it's it's definitely to be used in moderation. Sauce, yeah. or, sauce or marinade? For me, a marinade on chicken skewers before putting on the barbie. Yeah, I that's a good that shout, isn't it? Is yeah. shout, that's isn't a very good shout. Put all your veggies and your meat or whatever in a bowl. Put like a big spoonful of that, lid on the bowl, shake it up so it coats everything, stick them on a skewer and on the barbie. It's got flavour too though, it has got instant heat, but it's not just, you know, like say an extract sauce, it's just like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. It's got, it's still got a nice flavour, it smells just nice. Caught us by surprise, that one. Yeah, no, <laughs> but it's a chilli sauce, it, we yeah, want we heat, don't we? Yeah, kind of blind yeah. tasting. So, yeah, well done, James. Well, I think that gets a thumbs yeah, up. Like a yeah, very good. Well done, James. Challenge sauce? No, no not, it's not hot enough for that type no. of thing, but. I would okay. de definitely say marinade. So this is the next one which I've been dying to try. A mm -hmm. pineapple curry sauce. Yeah, I've seen I a like few pineapple. people. I like curry. So, you know, what's not to like, right? Yeah. We're a bit... So pineapple, pineapple juice, vinegar, onion, brown sugar. Uh, hang on, James is asking, on that first one, uh, he's right, I did get sort of a herby flavour yeah, initially. Mustardy, herby type smell. Yeah. Did you get that herby type thing on the first one? It's got, the first I thing got, you tasted. More. I got more of like the like lemony. Right. Taste and yeah. I mean, a little bit of herb, but then the heat is yeah really quick. So he's asking, does it need more basil? 
I think it does if you want to go if you want to down that route. Yeah, I mean, if you want to go, obviously, with more herbs in it, yes. But for me, I think that's a well-balanced sauce. Isn't yeah. It's nice. It's all the thing is with basil, it's always going to get overtaken by the heat, isn't it? As soon as the heat hits, yeah. especially with that, that type of bird's eye stinging heat, it's going to get overpowered. But I definitely did get a herby sort of yeah. first taste. Then I got the um, the lemon and then the, um, then the heat. Herbs in there, you know? Yeah. It's a lovely looking sauce. Yeah, it's got so, a nice sheen to it as well. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say it needs more basil. I think the basil did its job. Yeah. And, um, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, James, keep it as it is. We're fine with that basil. Okay, right, we've got back to the pineapple curry. So, where were we? Pineapple, pineapple juice, vinegar, onion, brown sugar, habanero chilies, Teja chilies. T E J A. Have you heard of those? No? Yeah, I have. Yeah? Uh, I've just Googled it. <laughs> right. They are an Cheap. Indian peppery style chili. Right. So they've got quite a peppery taste. They look a bit, again, like bird's eye, kind of that long reddish type chili. Right. Uh, they're very popular in India. They dried a lot and used in a lot of the cooking over there. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Cayenne pepper, ginger, sea salt, turmeric, cumin, mustard powder, chili powder, coriander, fenugreek, um, ground black pepper, curry powder, mustard. I'm looking forward to this. He, say, he says they're from the Tasia chilies are from India. Yeah. So habanero chilies, Tasia chilies. Yeah, nice. Okay. Let's go for it. Okay, consistency. Pineapple and curry together. Yeah. 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 yeah? yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Definitely. There's a bit of a craze. People adding pineapple to the beef burgers now. Right. Hard pineapple on a beef burger. It doesn't sound great, but it looks good. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be wrong, but I'm yeah, thinking right. chip shop curry sauce sometimes has like fruit in it. It's fruity. Like sultanas yes, and pineapple. And looking at it, it looks the colour of chip it shop. Does. I bet you I'm completely wrong. Well, do you want to smell first? It smells quite sweet, doesn't it? I can't it? smell. It's yeah. the wind again. Oh, now I can. Oh, that smells good. Yeah? Yeah? No, yeah? Pine so. Pineapple and curry. That's one, cheers. Yeah, pineapple that and curry. Yeah, it's got a, yeah. You can tell it's got a good amount of pineapple in there as well. So nice pour. Look at that. It, again, the sheen of it's good. Nice, nice yeah, glossy keep, texture. Yeah, keep still. Nice. You got your Johnny Scoville spoon there? Yeah, courtesy of uh, Alan Vicky. Thank you, amigos. Yeah. Not as good as my wooden spoon. Well, not as good as my mother care spoon. Yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> right, are we ready? It smells a bit like chip, chip shop Chip curry. shop curry? Okay. okay. What's this going to be? We're about to find out. Right, it's go. going. Mm. Oh. Hello. Hello. That, that is light chip shop curry. A little bit sweeter. <clears throat> very hot. No. Very, very tasty. Though. Yeah, that's that's yeah, quite unique, that. Isn't it? <laughs> that's a good sign, James. They're asking for more. Well, that, that's more. nice. It's now, I know, I know Liam does a pineapple, uh, roasted pineapple sauce as well. Mm. Oh, that won't last long. That's, that's a nice delicious. one, that, isn't it? Yeah. Very pineapple-y. I haven't had a sauce of that before. No. As in from an artist. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. What would you put that on though? Pineapple and curry. That's an odd combination. So no, give us give us some thoughts. Add, you, could, you could literally do a chicken curry with that. You just use the whole bottle, all in. Feels like it should be hot, doesn't it? Like warmed. It's got a little bit. You think? It's, it's, it's a lot, little bit there. Yeah. It's, it's like I can definitely taste there's, there's a bit of heat in it, but it's not as doesn't. It's nothing compared to like that. The first one. No, it's no, got but a bit of heat now nice. on my tongue. Yeah, it's nice. It's a bit of a creeper. Yeah. But it's like I say, I'd probably chop chicken up, add a full bottle of that, marinate it, and then cook a bit of a curry in it. Yeah. That's nice. Chips. It, where, uh, you do you know, do, where you would do chip shop curry? Yeah. That would just take it, take its place. Yeah, it's slightly sweeter and it's got a little bit more heat. And there is a place for now. chip shop curry in there. Do you know what I mean? It is. Look it, at the color. It's a specific type of curry. Lovely. I'm so, do you know that's it's the first ever time that I've ever thought that that could actually go with fish and chips. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like fish and chips from the chip shop. Yeah, sausage and chips. Piece a nice yeah, piece of deep fried cod with some nice sort of chips. I think that would be belting. I could go just go in for more of that, but I'm not. James is saying fajitas, stir yeah. fry, yes, yes. chili mayo for dipping. Okay. Mix it with a bit of mayo. Yeah. I can see that as well. Yeah, Mexican food. Yeah, I, th I can Tacos. see it on all of those. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's, that's a good that's a good one that James. My, my, my kids we like that. that. Yeah, I would. They, yeah. they have a, they like a little bit of heat, not too much. And they, yeah, they would love that. It's got would, a bit on the tongue, definitely. Oh yeah. Wooden yes. soup being really hot that one. No, I don't no, think. There's no need. No. You know, no. not. I think all chili sauces, you know, have a sort of heat they suit, mm. and that definitely. I think the piri piri, um, the pili pili, sorry, suits being you know having that stinging heat because you're going to marinate. You might lose some on the barbecue, yeah. but that one I think you're going to dip in and especially with mayo, you don't need too much. You got to remember as well when you're trying sauces straight from from the bottle, just on a spoon. You know, you do get it tastes different by the time you marinate or have yeah. it with food. It, the heat does dissipate. Somewhat. Yeah, yeah. So obviously you're tasting it now. That is hot, but once you put it in a curry or chicken or on skewers, the heat dissipates and yeah. you get that lovely. Lovely full flavour of it then. Do you think we're going to get turfed off here by this car coming? No, I hope not. No, um, no, we're not. Okay, Always looking and at then us. <laughs> this, this is this is quite a uh, right. It's the third sauce. one. It's uh, blueberry. Oh, look at the colour. Yeah, this. look at the colour on that. A de James is saying Adele did a pizza with it too. I can see that. What, pineapple? The pineapple? Yeah, pineapple oh, yeah, curry. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's very versatile. Pizza sauce. crusts. Yeah. We're going to get moved yeah, on, aren't we? we? Won't. We're gonna get hit, aren't we? These <laughs> people are trying to get as close to the lot as possible, like that idiot there. You know, just, um, yeah. Right, anyway, so blueberry sauce, Haskell's blueberry sauce. Okay, let's have a look at the ingredients again. Mm. Water, blueberries, cider vinegar, lemon juice, mm. agave. Hi, okay. Good morning, you alright? Alright, Dave. Habanero chilies, cayenne chilies, garlic, allspice, cinnamon. Now, I was going to suggest this could be a fermented one, but I don't see salt anywhere, so I don't think it maybe is. So, yeah, this looks like a proper so a blueberries. So, is a bit, it looks a it's bit like, like a type a of sugar, isn't it? Right? No, it's like a, it's a bit like, it's like Garb a... syrup? No, no, it's, it's a plant. It's like a um, desert plant. Um, okay. Looks a bit like aloe vera. It's related, slightly related to the cactus family. You've done your homework, haven't I you? I have, yeah, I've been busy. For somebody drinking gin last night, you've done well. Yeah, well, the less about that, the better, really. Okay. You live and learn. Yeah. Right, Mark, so we've got water, blueberry, cider vinegar, lemon juice, agave, which David's just given a nice description of, habanero chilies, cayenne chilies, garlic, allspice, and cinnamon. Right, crack her open and let's get her in. Quite a bit of consistency on this, a bit runnier than the other sauces. Again, with heat, different sauces suit different heat. I don't know how hot this is Consistency be. also depends on which sauce it is. Yeah. Kaylee says this one's an ice cream sauce. Def that's what I was thinking. I'm not sure like. if you've had it, Kaylee, or you're just saying it sounds like it, but. Oh, yes. It smell quite fruity, doesn't it? <laughs> Blueberry, but you get, you get cinnamon. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you like cinnamon, Dave? Yeah, I like cinnamon. Yeah. Hang on, that's like. Oh, is it quite loose? Like, yeah, yeah. It's loose. Okay. Ice cream sauce. I think Kaylee's probably hit the nail on the head with this one. Look really? at that. Really Look at the colour and the sheen on it. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, James Garrett says he's got this sauce and the pineapple curry on order. Not surprised. Oh, good shout. Katie says, no, she hasn't had it, but that's what she'd use it for. Okay, should we do it then? Katie Prettyman says, agave is used as a natural sweetener. See, I was partially right. I said yeah, it's yeah. a type of sugar. Yeah. Well, See, yeah, thanks, Katie. Like okay, let's go for it. Right, ready? Yeah. Mm. Very sweet. Very mm. sweet. Very little heat. Kaylee, I think you're spot on again. I think that would be a dessert-style sauce. That's blueberry and cinnamon to me, straight away. It's got very cinnamon mm. flavour, quite up front. Yeah, you, you get the sweetness, very instant sweetness, and then as soon as you swallow, you just get the cinnamony taste building up behind it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're right. That was... <coughs> Kaylee says the colour's beautiful. The colour is right up front. It's, yeah. James is saying that the, the agave is a vegan friendly option to use instead of honey. So he's kept it vegan by going for the agave rather than using honey. Which is a good shout. Keeps all the vegans happy. Gets you at the vegan festivals yeah. and the vegan markets and stuff. Indeed. Which I know the Saunders go to. Yep. The vegan market in Epsom. Yep. Yeah, I like that one. I'll have another bit of that yeah. on the other end of the spit on the other end of the thing. Not much, not much heat with that one. Though. No. That one's nice. But you don't necessarily need it for that style sauce, do you? 
Yeah, nice. Good one, that one, James. Yeah. James, give us some other suggestions what you put that on instead of just ice cream and stuff. What sort of savoury stuff would that go with? Yeah? Chicken? Blueberry and cinnamon with chicken? What's it? What sort of what? Marinade? Cranberry sauce and red currant jelly and all sorts on chicken. So yeah. Just take its place. Chicken burger? Yeah, a bit of. What would you use that on? I think it's quite sweet sauce, so yeah, possibly definitely on, on ice cream. Or maybe to add into some sort of baking as yeah. well to give it something like a muffins, a bit of flavour. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could put that in. Kaylee says chocolate brownies. Yes. James is saying game. That's a good shout, Actually, isn't it? Actually, yeah, that is. Pheasant, good that sort of stuff. Yeah. I'm not a massive game eater. I don't no, know why, but just. Well, do you eat? Do you eat game? I eat a bit of game, yeah. Yeah. What's pheasant, what? Pheasant? What else? A partridge. Right. Okay. It's around here, especially it's shooting season. Yeah. Uh, in a couple of months. So bit of duck. The butchers, the butchers get loads of meat. You can buy them really cheap. I think you can get partridge for fifty pence. Yeah. Pheasant for them um, for about a quid each because. So I, I actually did a game curry once, a Jamie Oliver game curry. It's quite nice. What about instead of a plum sauce with duck and pancakes? Yeah, or I could maybe even put that on pulled pork. But yeah. I don't know if the cinnamon would, what, but the, the sweetness would. James is saying duck likes a sweet sauce, a duck out of a bo out of the box. James is also saying venison. Yeah. Um, Matthew Eagle saying what about a nice add to a chutney for cheese? Yeah, yes. could see that as well. Yeah. Good one, that. All three of those were good, didn't they? Yeah, overall, uh, James. Yeah, well done, James. Well done. That's, uh, Let's have another little look at them. Should we have our favourite? Should we vote them in order? Oh, that's a difficult one. Well, I think, I think the middle ones. ones. Pork, so yeah, Katie Prettyman's saying pork chops. Yeah. That's a good shout as well for the blueberry one. I right. I think, so I think, I think <coughs> for me, watch the table. The pineapple one it, it is the standout one. Yeah, you, that's your favourite, is it? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I, think, I like the pili pili, although it does have heat. But I think, like I say, if you don't over, don't use too much, and you marinate meat in it, that heat will dissipate somewhat. And now I've thought of it, chicken skewer curries would, uh, chicken skewer kebabs would be, would be delicious with that. Yeah. Uh, and like I say, if you if you bake or eat ice cream, or maybe with duck or pulled pork, the the blueberry and cinnamon one would work very well. Okay, Mark, very quickly, because James said he's got to go to a party. <laughs> right. Favourite? Curry sauce. Curry sauce. Second favourite? I see. I like the heat of that. Yeah. I think these are sauces that I'd like to try with a bit of food as well. Oh, yeah, it's, before. Yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult straight out of a bottle, isn't it? Yeah. So. yeah, James, all good sauces. Well done. Enjoy yeah. your party. Thanks very much for yeah getting them to us. Let's have a go. Right. So we've now got Liam Kerr's uh, Harriet. Okay. So we tried oh, one of these, didn't we? Yeah, so we'll, re we'll revisit the charred peach. Yeah, charred peach. And what's and the other one? we've got this very interesting one, cherry, bourbon and vanilla barbecue. So I'm oh, quite wow. excited about that. That right, seems days. So let's go, with the, let's go with the one that we've had first. Okay. First, just because we've had it. And keep that one to last, because that one looks so beautiful. So again, Scotch bonnet. Cheers, James. Same to you. Have a great weekend. Cheers, James. Scotch bonnet 32%, peaches 24%, carrots, onion, red peppers, garlic salt, rum 1%, apple cider vinegar, paprika and pink peppercorns. Okay, Fina. good. So, now when we like, went in last week our mouths were hanging off, weren't they? Off doing all those peanuts and everything. So I'm pretty cleansed. So Scotch bonnet, peaches, carrots, onions. Yeah. Yeah, labels I really like. Yeah, I like the Do you know what I meant to say last week that these labels remind me of, right, that I forgot to say, is the Beatles' Yellow Submarine. Uh, okay, Don't yeah. you think? Yeah, I was thinking more like kind of Harry Potter, but yeah. No, I just instantly think of the Beatles' Yellow Submarine when I'm looking at that. Harry just Potter? looks looks a little bit like um, Paul McCartney or John Lennon or whatever. In, in... It's Harry Potter, come on. You think Harry Potter? It's got a goddamn, yeah, it's All right, right. Harriet it's got Hot. Long coat on. All right, Harriet well... Potter. I'm not really that into Harry Potter, so, and I've seen the Beatles' Yellow Submarine a million times, so I'm going to stick with that. Right, okay, go for it. Okay, somebody, can anybody tag Liam Kerr, just to get him involved, just so we can hear our thoughts? Quite a thick consistency. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Do you remember this is too hot? It's like a joystick. 
to struggle to get out of the boat there. Ah, here it comes. <laughs> Is this one that we had to um, give a smack up the bum to, to yeah. get it to come out? You can see it's, it's quite thick consistency, as you can see. <laughs> it's like a sculpture on a spoon. <laughs> Thank you. I, I... Hey Liam, how are you doing? We're just about to get on to your sauces yeah. now. So this is a charred peach. Oh, the, charred spe the charred peach, ah, you're going wooden, spo yeah. wooden spoon, wooden fork as well. Scotch bonnet and spice rum. Spice rum, 1%. Wooden spatula, I'll get Scotch it right in a minute. It's about 32%, peach is 24%. Look at that sculpture. Let's have a look at that before you down it. <laughs> It hasn't That's, shifted, isn't that it? That is a work of art, isn't it? How would you manage that? I don't know. I flipped it. That's lovely. It's got quite a bit of texture to it. It's got little bits in it. Yeah. Garlic or anything. Yeah. Yeah, I've got one. Oh, got a massive one. So I just wiped it on my hand. We're going in, in? Yeah, we're going in. Okay, let's go. Okay. You get the charred flavour straight away. It's got, it's got heat. Mm-hmm. Definitely taste the peaches yeah. as well. You got the peaches? Don't get the rum. Fermented or not? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't no. really taste fermented to me because it's not got that vinegary taste. Liam, is that fermented or not? That's a nice it's sauce, man. You get that? Yeah, yeah. You can definitely. Yeah, it's earthy. unusual for a peach one to actually taste peachy, if you get what I mean. Usually yeah. it gets overpowered by other stuff, but it's that's not quite nice. Garlic. It's got heat, but it's not over hot. It's no. just sitting. Quite gently on my tongue. Yeah. Yeah, Scotch bonnets. You definitely get the strong Scotch bonnet, yeah. don't you? Peaches, nice peaches. I didn't get so much. I think that's been a little bit overpowered. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm you got that? Peach on that? Yeah. I got different, peach, but it's not. Different it's people not are different. Peach instantly. I just got that back in the peach. Yeah. The predominantly flavours are quite charred and earthy. Garlic. In a nice way. Yeah, got, garlic. Got you get. Garlic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell it's got pink peppercorns in. Mm. Um, it's got that sort of like peppery sort yeah, of back so note, it is isn't it? It's not quite peppery, yeah. yeah. It's, it's That's nice good sauce. on that. What I would think you... again, probably like white meats. Uh, good all rounder? General I Scotch could bonnet sauce? Dip chips in that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. I could. Burgers? Definitely. Yeah, I could have that. Sausages? Well. Sausages, yeah. What else? Uh. Like I said, probably noodles. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Chicken fajitas. Yeah. Um, would you put yeah, it would... into something? Soups, stews. Yeah, you could anything put like that. Into kind of uh, vegetable soup or something. Nice. Uh, Mark, what would you have that yeah, with? I think more because of the char grilled stuff. It's kind of like a more barbecue. -y? Barbecue kind of thing. Right. But you can quite easily chuck it anything: burgers, sausages. Chicken off the barbecue that's yeah. char grilled with a nice bit of that on yep. that would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, skewers. Do you think marinate or not? Yeah, I, I could marinate with this. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. That's a good all rounder, I think. <clears throat> right, should we go on to the last one? Last but not least, yes, we've got okay, the kept the best for last here, Liam. And vanilla barbecue. So, this yeah. is a new sauce, Beatles Yellow Submarine label again, <laughs> Harriet Potter, you mean? Yeah, so <laughs> cherry, bourbon, and vanilla barbecue. That's a lethal combination. So that sounds great. Okay, quite quite fluid sauce. It's got cherries, forty percent. Tomato ketchup, red chili. 40%. Tomato ketchup with cherries. Yeah. Okay. Molasses, sugar, onion, garlic, maple syrup, salt, yeah. lemon juice, red wine, vinegar, vanilla pods, bourbon, paprika, coriander seeds, cumin seeds, cinnamon, allspice, black pepper ground ginger and turmeric so wow that's quite a so basically absolutely everything, everything from his cupboards and his freezer <laughs> and his fridge and everything he could find is in there yeah wow <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking forward I'm to this one Liam. this one looks great oh yeah yeah you can definitely smell some spices in there Whew. Very nice. Difficult. It's, it's a strange sort of smell, isn't it? It's cherryish. Yeah. Sweetness. Quite, like I say, quite a sort of cumin of coriander. Sometimes when you put so much stuff in like that, it takes on a flavour of its own and it doesn't actually taste of any of the bits that are in it. That's nice. Yeah, it does, not yeah. 
it's a nice yeah nice pour in it hi tina Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look. Any sculptures? Uh, not on this one, but not lovely so sheen. It's a lovely colour. Yeah. In a rich deep red. I'm expecting it to be quite sweet, maybe. See, yeah, I have more than you look. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's interesting good. smelling, isn't it? It's just about to smell the phone there and just sort of try and film with the stick. Mm. Are we right? Let's go in. in. Yeah, let's go. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's nice. That is good, that Liam. That is weird, but it's good. Yeah, it's quite hard to get the flavour profile. Cherry and vanilla. You can definitely taste the vanilla. It's got nice and sweet, it's quite rich sauce, isn't it? With duck or mm. pulled pork, what do you think? That is great. That's a lovely one, that man. I think we'll go back for more. Yeah. That's a good one, that Liam. Cherry and vanilla. Go through, let me have a look at the ingredients Bourbon. again. Bourbon. It's got quite a lot. Do you want a little bit first? Yeah, I'll do more. Right. Yeah, it's a good one, that. Mm. Another dessert sauce, Kaylee's saying. Or with like, game pulled pork. That's, that's that. similar to the Haskell's ones, isn't it? Not you could, you could go for you could Sorry. go for similar. That's right. You could go for similar stuff for this one. That, that is another nice. dessert. Another dessert sauce. Liam, wow. <laughs> 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 One. Liam, that's good, that mind. Let's have a look at the ingredients. Mm. That's very Moorish. Cherries, tomato ketchup, red chilli, molasses, sugar, onion, said tomato ketchup garlic. Before. Yeah, tomato ketchup you get a little bit now yeah, that you yeah. say that. Maple, and tomato ketchup, second ingredient, so there must be a fair bit in. Kaylee's saying she loves cherries. Liam says this is his favourite one that he does. I'm, I, I can I'm see why. I, luckily, I've got a bottle in the house of yeah. that. It's a red one. It's got a bit of, you can feel that consistency of ketchup, don't you? It's, it's delicious. Yeah, yeah. Vanilla pods, 1%. Now, you know, vanilla extract is strong, but vanilla pods are a different level of strength. So only 1%, but you can, you can definitely tell. Bourbon, 2%. Do you get the bourbon? Not particularly, you no, can but... You can smell, you, rather than taste the bourbon, you can smell, it's it's kind of in the... In the smell profile if you get what i mean so. mm -hmm. yeah the uh, i mean alcohol is quite quite hard to taste in chili sauce I really think, so. difficult to get it any is. sort of alcohol to come out in a sauce but that's nice that's that really good yeah, very moorish cherries i would say cherries ketchup and vanilla and everything else in it provides a sort of like a unique flavor that sort of sits in the background peter gunningham's pulled pork and that would be a match made in heaven yeah it really would yeah, Peter, there's a little hint for you to yeah, get that pulled pork there, going again, mate. Uh, we'll buy, we'll buy, buy definitely more meat off you. Cherry, bourbon and vanilla barbecue. Brilliant. I, I think, <coughs> think Kaylee would love that. I think most people would. I'm not sure if Adele and Tony have tried it. And it's not too hot, so it's, it's, it's an all-rounder. It's good for, you know, kids. It's good for non-chilli heads. It's got, got a slight little bit of heat, but nothing that major just the yeah. flavor though is 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 very moorish sweet it, but it's a bit savory as well it's just it's very nice kaylee's saying how hot is it not it's not that hot, hot. Not little hot. bit kaylee little bit but safe i would say for your kids son be fine, most oh, so my, be fine. my kids i was quite happy my kids would be quite happy with that i bet they would liam says that he um he flambes the bourbon okay and he only uses it to bring out the flavor of the vanilla so that's, I think, again, that's why we could taste vanilla when there's only like 1% in there. Oh, you, you definitely You've done well there, Liam. Vanilla. Yeah, Liam, that's fair play, mate. That's, that's, that's yeah, it's really good. I mean, that's nice. We've got your pineapple ones, which I'm going to pick up for my parents at some point. Thankfully, along with one of these that I will treasure and use. Yeah, so put it back down because that one's mine. Yeah, all right. but no, I, <laughs> I know what you're like. You take say. yours and leave mine there, yeah? yeah. I'll mm. happily take mine. I'll, yeah, I'll bet take you will. them all day long. Okay. Uh, but I, I'm glad I've got one of them that you picked up. Uh, right, favourites of these two. I think we both, I think we're all going to go for the... It's got to be the cherry. Yeah, That's the cherry, so very lovely. unique, really good. Um, other ones very good. I'm just thinking of but, it was like pulled pork or duck. That would be absolutely delicious. Yeah. And in fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that once I get it. I'm going to get pulled pork from you know, butcher's supermarket and I'm just going to drizzle that over. Um, yeah, that's that's a winner. 
nice one all right well um yeah we look forward to actually trying some food with these on as well because it's one thing having them off the stick or off the earlier, spoon yeah i mean when you add them to cooking or even just with cheese and crackers it just gives yeah. a different taste but it's not necessarily as, as as hot as straight off the spoon obviously but it's nice to have it with a a bit of food as well even just poppadoms or whatever yeah. yeah so and now we've built up these little allotment reviews to have a little bit of looking at the allotment first then the reviews soon we'll have us eating a whole dinner <laughs> yeah and after an after dinner <laughs> chat and stuff yeah, yeah. and we'll, we'll build it up to a two-hour show yeah <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Right, Liam says he recommends a cheddar cheese ploughman's with that one. Um, and he says for the barbecue as well. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's it's versatile. It's a delicious, very, very Moorish. Yeah. Uh, I definitely recommend You probably that. need to make bigger bottles of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah really good, that, Liam. That is not going to lie. That's one meal's worth. That is oh, really. Yeah. 100%, 100% I would recommend anybody trying the Haskell's ones and the Harriet Hot definitely so that's our honest thoughts you know we not trying to just big them up just for the sake of it yeah, we that's don't have to prove anything. We, exactly we, what we bought them all we don't review you know we what we do is we give honest reviews don't we exactly we buy them ourselves and we just review them and they are what they are it's yeah. only our test though it's just personal just our preference so. isn't it yeah all right well yeah kaylee says awesome review so we must be doing something Thanks, slightly kaylee, entertaining so yeah all right guys right we're gonna go see you later mark thank you Cheers. See you later, Cheers, Dave. Guys, thanks for watching. See you at some point in the future. Bye. See you later, guys. Take it easy.